Welcome back to Cooking It Right, the channel that takes home cooks to the next level. I'm your host, BK Jackson. Ever wondered where nachos came from? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a tasty journey back in time. But before we do that, list your favorite nacho topping in the comments. And while you are at it, like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Now, let's rewind to the 1940s, a time when the world was at war and swing music was all the rage. We find ourselves in the vibrant town of Piedras Negras, Mexico, right across the border from Eagle Pass, Texas. In this bustling border town, a culinary legend was about to be born. Enter Ignacio Nacho. Anaya, a humble maitre d' at the Victory Club, a popular restaurant in Piedras Negra. One fateful day, a group of U.S. military wives, out for a day of shopping and fun, walked into the Victory Club. With the chef nowhere to be found and the ladies famished after their cross-border excursion. Anaya had to think on his feet. With a dash of ingenuity, Anaya headed to the kitchen, intent on whipping up something quick yet satisfying. He grabbed a handful of tortilla chips, sprinkled them with cheddar cheese, and topped them off with jalapeno slices. A quick trip to the oven later, and voila! The world's first plate of nachos was served. The ladies were smitten with this new snack, and word quickly spread about Anaya's tasty creation. It was one of the ladies, in fact, who first called the dish nachos, a playful nod to Anaya's nickname. From that day forward, nachos began their journey, from a simple, impromptu snack to a beloved international treat. Anaya's original recipe may have been simple, but it was this simplicity that made it so adaptable, paving the way for the countless variations we see today. So next time you're enjoying a plate of nachos, remember Ignacio Nacho Anaya and his quick thinking in the face of a culinary conundrum. His impromptu invention has since become a staple of gatherings, parties, and late night snack sessions around the world. And that, my friends, is how our beloved nachos were born, out of necessity and quick thinking. So how did nachos make their way from a small town in Mexico to the hearts and bellies of people worldwide? Well, it's a tale as spicy as the jalapenos that top them. As the story goes, during the early 40s, military wives stationed at Fort Duncan in Texas would often cross the border into Piedras Negras for a bit of shopping. During one such trip, they stumbled upon nachos and fell head over heels for this cheesy, crunchy delight. They loved it so much that they brought the recipe back to Texas with them. And just like that, nachos had crossed the border, ready to conquer a whole new territory. But it wasn't just the military wives who were smitten. The soldiers themselves, after tasting the dish, couldn't get enough of it. Soon enough, nachos started popping up in Texas cookbooks and local diners. But how did nachos go from a regional favorite to a national phenomenon? That's where sports come into play. In the late 70s, Frank Liberto, an entrepreneur, decided to sell nachos at Arlington Stadium, home of the Texas Rangers. By tweaking the original recipe a bit, using a cheese sauce that could stay warm throughout the game, he made nachos the perfect stadium snack. The nachos were a hit. Sports fans couldn't resist the allure of a warm, cheesy snack while they cheered on their favorite teams. Nachos quickly spread from Arlington to other stadiums across the country. And it wasn't just the stadiums. From movie theaters to school cafeterias, from upscale restaurants to home kitchens, nachos found a place everywhere. They were customizable, shareable, and oh so delicious. So, from a small kitchen in Piedras Negras to the bustling stadiums of the United States, nachos embarked on an incredible journey. It was an odyssey driven by taste, convenience, and the universal love for good food. Nachos were no longer a local secret, but a sensation that was about to take the world by storm. Igers, as nachos spread across the globe, they started to evolve. Let's delve into the delicious variations of nachos we see today. When the classic nachos, hoy to see sweets, I ain't 
crispy tortilla chips crowned with molten cheese and jalapenos made their way out of the Mexican border towns, they carried with them a delicious promise of adaptability. From the United States to the far reaches of Asia, nachos have been embraced and transformed, reflecting the tastes and culinary traditions of each locale. Let's start with the American twist. As nachos journeyed north, they expanded their wardrobe, so to speak. Alongside the traditional cheese and jalapenos, toppings such as ground beef, refried beans, sour cream, and guacamole found their way onto the nacho platter. This hearty version, often called loaded nachos, became a staple at sports events and casual dining establishments. In the culinary melting pot of California, nachos encountered the fresh, health-conscious ethos of the West Coast. The result? California-style nachos, adorned with fresh avocado slices, black beans, and sometimes even substituting tortilla chips with baked sweet potato slices a delightful fusion of tradition and innovation. As nachos made their way across the Atlantic, Europe added its own refinements. Imagine nachos topped with blue cheese, caramelized onions, and a drizzle of balsamic glaze. Or how about a Mediterranean twist with feta cheese, kalamata olives, and sun-dried tomatoes? Yes, the humble nacho has been dressed in some pretty gourmet outfits in the old world. And let's not forget the Asian influence. In Japan, for instance, you might stumble upon nachos topped with sushi-grade tuna, wasabi cream, and pickled ginger. In India, spicy masala seasoned chips meet traditional chait toppings like yogurt, tamarind chutney, and fresh coriander. Now, are these variations still nachos? Some purists might say no. But isn't the spirit of nachos about creativity and sharing, about gathering around a platter and digging in together? Whether it's a simple cheese and jalapeno combo or a gourmet fusion creation, the heart of nachos remains the same. And hey, let's not forget the dessert nachos. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine sweet cinnamon tortilla chips drizzled with chocolate sauce and topped with whipped cream and fresh berries or perhaps a tropical version with toasted coconut flakes, mango salsa, and a dollop of vanilla ice cream. A sweet twist on the nacho narrative. From the humble cantinas of Piedras Negras to the bustling streets of Tokyo, from the sun-kissed beaches of California to the romantic cafes of Paris, nachos have evolved into a global phenomenon. They've embraced local flavors and ingredients, transforming from a simple snack into a canvas for culinary creativity. Who would have thought that this humble snack could transform into a dish so versatile and universally loved? Now what makes a perfect nacho platter? Let's break it down. The foundation of any nacho platter is, of course, the humble tortilla chip. Not just any chip will do, mind you. We're talking about crispy, golden, lightly salted morsels that give you that satisfying crunch with every bite. The tortilla chips form the canvas upon which the rest of your nacho masterpiece will be built. Next up, we have cheese. Oh, the glorious cheese. This isn't just about slapping on some cheddar and calling it a day. No, no, no. The perfect nacho platter demands a symphony of cheese. A blend of sharp cheddar for that tangy punch, Monterey Jack for its smooth melt, and perhaps a sprinkle of cotija for a salty finish. Melted to gooey perfection, it blankets the chips in a layer of creamy, dreamy deliciousness. Now, let's turn up the heat with some spicy jalapenos. These fiery little peppers add a kick that cuts through the richness of the cheese. You know, their bright, tangy flavor is a wake-up call for your taste buds, adding a layer of complexity to your nachos. But remember, these guys can pack a punch, so adjust the quantity according to your heat tolerance. And then we come to the toppings. This is where you can let your creativity shine. Traditional options include refried beans, diced tomatoes, and sliced black olives. For a more protein-packed platter, consider adding shredded chicken or ground beef. Want to add a refreshing crunch? Try diced bell peppers or red onions. The possibilities are endless. 
But the key is to choose ingredients that complement each other and add to the overall harmony of flavors. One crucial aspect of the perfect nacho platter that often gets overlooked is the art of layering. You see, nobody wants a pile of bear chips with all the goodies sitting on top. The secret is to layer your chips, cheese, and toppings. Repeating the process until your platter is piled high. This ensures that every chip comes loaded with a bit of everything. Let's not forget the role of fresh ingredients. Sure, canned jalapenos and pre-shredded cheese can save you some time, but using fresh ingredients can elevate your nacho game to new heights. Freshly grated cheese melts better and fresh jalapenos have a brighter flavor. And when it comes to toppings like tomatoes and onions, fresh is definitely best. Finally, while it's tempting to load up your nachos with all kinds of bells and whistles, remember that sometimes less is more. A few well-chosen ingredients can create a more satisfying flavor profile than a hodgepodge of toppings. Remember, the beauty of nachos lies in their simplicity. Less is more when it comes to the perfect nacho platter. Nachos aren't just a snack, they've made their mark on popular culture too. In the grand tapestry of our shared experiences, nachos have been woven into many threads impacting movies, TV shows, music, and even art. Let's explore some of these flavorful influences. In the realm of cinema, nachos have had their cameo. From being a go-to munch in movie theaters to their appearances in films themselves, nachos have staked their claim in the hearts of moviegoers and filmmakers alike. Remember that scene where the character nervously munches on nachos during a tense moment? Or the one where nachos serve as a bonding food during a heartfelt conversation? These examples show that nachos are not just background props, but symbols of comfort, camaraderie, and sometimes comic relief. On the small screen, TV shows have used nachos to portray everything from late night cravings to family traditions. The golden cheesy delight has been a part of many plot lines, adding a layer of relatability to the characters. After all, who hasn't savored a heaping plate of nachos while binge watching their favorite series? In the music scene, nachos have found their rhythm too. They've been mentioned in lyrics, showing up in songs across genres. Whether it's a nod to a fun night out or a metaphor for life's layered experiences, nachos have tuned into our collective melody. Even the world of art hasn't been immune to the nacho influence. From pop art renditions of nacho platters to intricate sculptures made from tortilla chips and cheese, nachos have become a medium for creativity proving that food can indeed be a form of artistic expression. And let's not forget National Nacho Day. Celebrated annually on November 6th, this day is dedicated to honoring our shared love for this delectable dish, further cementing nachos' place in our cultural narrative. It's clear that nachos are more than just a tasty treat. They're a cultural phenomenon. With their influence spanning across various aspects of popular culture, nachos have transcended their culinary origins to become a symbol of shared experiences and universal enjoyment. So what's next for our beloved nachos? As we peer into the crystal ball of culinary innovation, we can begin to see the promising future of nachos unfolding. This comfort food classic with its humble origins has already proven its adaptability. So what could the future possibly hold for this universally loved dish? Imagine healthier versions of nachos. As the world becomes more health conscious, our nachos are not left behind. Picture baked tortilla chips loaded with fresh, vibrant toppings such as grilled corn, diced avocados, and a generous handful of cilantro. There's a squeeze of lime for that tangy punch, and perhaps a sprinkle of crumbled feta cheese for that creamy, salty contrast. But the evolution doesn't stop there. 
Gourmet interpretations are also on the horizon. We're talking about nachos going high-end with decadent toppings like truffle-infused cheese, seared scallops, or even a drizzle of champagne vinaigrette. These aren't your average game day nachos. They're a culinary adventure, pushing the boundaries of what nachos can be. And what about innovative toppings? The future of nachos could see a fusion of flavors from different cultures. Think Korean barbecue nachos topped with spicy kimchi, or Greek-inspired nachos with Kalamata olives, feta cheese, and tzatziki sauce. The possibilities are as broad as the world's palate. Furthermore, the popularity of nachos is increasing globally. From Tokyo to Timbuktu, more and more people are falling in love with this delightful dish. This means we can expect to see nachos popping up in unexpected places, from high-end restaurants to street food stalls, and even in home kitchens around the world. No matter what the future holds, one thing's for sure, the world's love affair with nachos is here to stay. As we continue to experiment and innovate, the nacho platter will remain a canvas for creativity, a symbol of comfort, and a testament to the power of food to bring us together. So get ready, folks. The future of nachos is looking deliciously bright. We've come a long way on our nacho journey, haven't we? From the humble kitchens of Piedras Negra, where the first nacho was born, to its triumphant march across the globe, our beloved nachos have indeed come a long way. We've seen how they morphed into countless variations, each as unique and delicious as the next. We dived into the essential elements of the perfect nacho platter, and my, wasn't that a mouth-watering exploration? We've also uncovered how nachos have made their mark in popular culture. From movie theaters to sports arenas, and even our very own home kitchens. Peeking into the future, we've seen how nachos continue to evolve with new flavors and combinations continually being dreamed up by nacho enthusiasts worldwide. So, as we wrap up our journey, let's take a moment to appreciate this culinary marvel. And just like nachos, remember to keep life spicy, cheesy, and full of delightful surprises. Did you comment your favorite nacho topping? And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Because if you are going to cook, you might as well be cooking it right. Until our next culinary adventure, goodbye.